Welcome back, faithful viewers. As we dive deeper into our series, we now turn our attention to the concept of nice guys. These are the individuals who, on the surface, seem to be the epitome of kindness and decency. But the reality is far more complex and layered. The nice guy persona often stems from childhood conditioning, a relentless quest for approval, or an incessant need to uphold an impeccable image. They're the ones perpetually putting out fires and managing crises, trapped in an exhausting cycle that leaves little room for authentic connection or personal growth. In their pursuit of being the nice guy, they inadvertently create an environment of stress and frustration, especially in their intimate relationships. They're terrible listeners, often preoccupied with defending themselves or fixing problems that aren't theirs to fix. And when their well-intentioned efforts don't yield the desired results, they end up blaming others for their unhappiness. As we can see, the nice guy persona is not without its complexities and contradictions. Now, let's examine how the nice guy persona manifests in intimate relationships. These chaps often grapple with a myriad of issues that stem from their inherent character traits. They are typically poor listeners, constantly preoccupied with self-defense or fixing their partner's problems rather than genuinely understanding their concerns. Their fear of conflict often drives them to dishonesty, making them unavailable to fully resolve issues. This lack of honest communication can further exacerbate relationship struggles. Moreover, nice guys have a proclivity to see their partners as projects or diamonds in the rough. They enter relationships with the misguided notion of transforming their partners. When these projects don't pan out as expected, the nice guy is quick to point fingers blaming their partner for obstructing their happiness. This pattern of behavior often leads to a cyclic existence of blame and dissatisfaction. The nice guy in a relationship often finds himself in a cycle of blame and dissatisfaction. Interestingly, nice guys often face issues in two key areas of adult life, success and sexuality. Despite their talents and intelligence, nice guys frequently fall short of their potential. This underachievement is often a source of frustration a silent battle fought behind the scenes of their outwardly nice persona. But the struggles don't stop there. Sexuality, another pivotal aspect of adult life, also tends to be a thorny issue for nice guys. Many grapple with dissatisfaction in their sex lives, while others wrestle with sexual dysfunctions. Some even engage in sexual acting out, seeking solace in affairs, pornography, or compulsive behaviors. These problems, though often hidden, are very real and can cause significant distress. As we've seen, the nice guy's outward image often masks a world of internal struggles and disappointments.